Hey everyone, in celebration of reaching 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing another village where I get to play with you guys. The ones that made this all happen. Because we all know how well the last one went. You want some chocolate? Oh, I want some chocolate, yeah. Here, take some chocolate. Here. I think someone's building right now. Help. Hey! Six. Alright, he stole the chocolate. Baby, oh my god! I have a chance. Who's saying that? The guy at the door. The guy at the door. I think I killed you guys. You hit me! Oh, someone else just took it. Yeah, give me it. Give me it. Go get it. I've missed. No! It's pathetic. What a kid. Why did you try and rape Rusty? I have all the evidence I need. Yeah, only the police. Fuck you. The police are on my side. I can do what I want. Oh, officers! Oh, officers! Oh, officers. Oh, fucking turn around right now. Turn around right fucking now. And this is your great god. Is your great god. I basically want to have fun with you guys, the ones who make this all worthwhile and fun to do. So, on the 28th of January at 8 pm GMT time, that's 3 pm EST time on the Monday next week of this month, I will be announcing which server the village will be taking place on my multiple platforms where I can update and announce to you all. That will be on my Twitter, my community tab on my YouTube channel, and on my Discord. Hope to see you all there, and again, thank you so, so much for 50,000 subscribers. It truly means a lot to me. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Solo can be tough, challenging, everything relies on you and you alone. Each decision you make factors into your very own survival in Rust. So I'm going to show you one of those decisions I decide to make quite frequently. If I'm solo and late to a wipe, I either find a vacant, decaying base and build close to that in hope of free loot, or I find an occupied base and build close to that in hope of free loot. As a solo, and especially as a fresh spawn, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Door camping can be considered scummy, downright bad, but you use the best of your abilities to get what you want in Rust, and as a solo, it's a viable tactic. This is one of the ways in how I get gear solo. Howdy neighborino. Actually, bad AIDS, dude. You're bad AIDS. You should have got me there, man.
Oh, that really hurt. That really fucking hurt. Wow. Hey, there's two guys door camping you right now, they're wearing hazmats with guns on. Don't trust Peter. these guys, they were door camping you, they had guns yeah, out Peter. ready. They had Griffin. guns out ready, I just strolled along, they had guns ready, they were about to try and kill you. Oh wait! You know, I saw that, I saw your picture earlier. Is this the real deal? Uh oh. Uh oh, I'm going. I'm going Mr. before I- No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's okay, baby, I love your videos. Uh oh, it's, thank uh, you. Yeah. Help me, help me, help, help me. Careful. Oh, wow, he has a rifle also. He has a rifle. He has a lot of blood. Yeah, I'm dead. He has a lot of guns, guys. I think he just pulled like 20 guns out of his ass. I don't know. Hey, hey, press me. neighbor for these assholes on there. What the fuck was that?
You gotta do some farming every now and then, don't you? Yeet. Oh wow. Why did you pick something up? If you're gonna sneak. I get offline raided. I'm just gonna show you the loot that I've gotten so far. Not bad. Just a little slow or slow ball. Wish me luck in spawning into my base to attack. <sighs>